Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we're going to be checking out Elegoo's latest product, which is the Saturn 3 SLA printer. So let's get started. Now I do want to thank Saturn for sending this over to me. And if you haven't seen the video on their latest fastest FDM printer, I'll leave a link on the top over here. Now the Saturn 3 hasn't changed much from the Saturn 2. The biggest improvements that you'll notice is the 12K screen and the Wi-Fi module. So you can actually network print this now. It did also slightly increase the size of the print bed, which is 218 by 122 by 260 Z. So it's very, very close. I think it's off by one or two millimeters from uh, the Saturn 2, but otherwise you do get a much higher resolution from the 8K that you would get from the Saturn 2 to the 12K that you're getting on the Saturn 3. Now I'm gonna remove the cover just to show you guys what's inside. And it looks a lot better just from the start. The print bed itself now uses some sort of translucent screen and it feels like more of a rubberized material than it is like a solid plastic like it was before. You can actually install two modules of these uh, filters that actually eliminates the smell. Not all the way, but it does help a lot with the smell. And then they also change the top part of this with four bolts for adjustments instead of two bolts from left and right from Saturn 2. Also operating this from the Saturn 2 uh, is a lot quieter. I do like the fact that they actually move the fans to the back instead of the side and also the plug to the side and not from the back. So yeah, I, I like uh, the minor changes makes a huge difference on this. I do like where they position this because I could kind of like rest this near a wall and not have that plug protruding out. Now I did print this statue of Lilith and I'll leave a link down in the description below to who created it and the model and her Twitter account. She did a fantastic job. This is half scale resolution. And from the, from the footages you could see it's actually really high detail even though I shrunk it down by half. I am using a red transparent resin which makes this look so much cooler because it's the Statue of Lilith. Now, if you guys played Diablo 4, you probably know that activating a Statue of Lilith will give you either attributes like plus two dexterity or plus two willpower or whatever the case may be. Since I printed this, I am gonna give myself plus four intelligence, which is very rare. Anyway, back to the printer. Uh, layer height on this, you can get up to 0.01 height resolution up to 0.2. Normal speed is 2.5 seconds per layer. Or if you're using high speed resin, you could get it down to one second per layer height. This model took about three and a half hours to four hours just to print. So it wasn't too bad to get this out. Now it's getting to the point where these resin printers have the size of a regular FDM printer. Like it's halfway, 122 as far as the depth goes, but you do have the 218 and the 260 Z axis. So you can print pretty big stuff with these FDM printers now in extremely high quality. Now I personally found the resin that are water washable to be a little bit easier to handle than the regular resin that you would get. Just because it's easier to clean instead of using alcohol bath and everything, the water resin is, works pretty well. So I do recommend using the Elegoo's water washable resin. Now, another thing about this is I like the bottom of the bed. It's actually got some texture on the bottom. And if you do print directly to the surface of this print bed, you will actually transfer the pattern over to your print, which is pretty cool. I don't know if they intended this, but it, it does transfer over and it looks really cool. As far as the options go, you do have your standard uh, print screen where you could go through all your files. They have the tool section where you could level up your bed or adjust some parameters. Then they have the settings option. That's where you would go in to set up your Wi-Fi. You can also update the firmware wirelessly. As long as you have your Wi-Fi set up, you can actually update this. Now I did do a time lapse with this and I did notice that there was some sort of LCD leakage. You could see that it's lighting up and it shouldn't be doing that. So it's not 100% sealed, which leads to a little bit of smell coming through. Even though the filter does a great job at handling the smell, uh, I do still smell the smell a little bit. I might go and tighten up the screws later on just to make sure that everything's all buttoned up properly, but that's from my first impression. I, I, I set it up, got something to print, and that's what happened. Now, my love-hate relationship with SLA printers is that they do print in extremely high quality. It's pretty durable as well, not flexible. You could snap these easy, but they are very durable. Downside to it is the setup and the cleanup. The setting up part where you have to pour in the resin isn't too bad, but you have to level the bed and all that stuff. The cleanup process is annoying where you have to pour the resin back into the bottle. After when the model is done, you still have to put it through a machine that has blue light that will cure the resin. So Elegoo does come out with a product called uh, Mercury. I 
did have the Mercury Plus, but I actually like their first version more so than their later versions. It's just easier to set up, easier to use. So I wish the later versions would come out with similar models like this, but it still does what it needs to do, which is send the blue light and cure the resin. Once the resin is cured, everything is solid and it's pretty durable. You're, you're not gonna have a problem. It, it's safe to touch. So I do recommend getting the Mercury as well if you are gonna get an SLA printer. So anyway, that is it for me guys. If you've been following me on Twitter, you probably know that I've been working on this for the past couple of days, uh, 3D printing stuff, testing out time-lapse, a bunch of stuff. So you probably knew this video was coming. So if you're not following me on Twitter, I'll leave a link down in the description for my Twitter account as well. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is gonna be out. And I say my nerd cave, Hack till it hurts.